Well, hello. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. I'm Tobias, and this is Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Stick around. It's going to be a fun one. What we have here is the Dave Canterbury Scout King by Marbles. Um, I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this, I was not actually interested in picking it up because uh, of the uh, bone handles on here. Um, it's the, the coloration on it. It's not a coloration that I like. Um, this reminds me of the, uh, the Stagalon that was used uh, by a shrade is that light milky tan color that I don't like with the dark brown it's it's just not a, a coloration that I really care for that much uh, I know it's popular because uh, a lot of people like this but uh, it's not my favorite um, uh, what was uh, interesting to me though was the Scout King uh, shield I, I liked that is like it's a play off of the Camp King and um, that was one of the things I was saying, yeah, go ahead and buy it. But I was very much on the fence until I took a close look at the um, the description of it, the specifications. And that's where it's like, you know what? Yeah, I will go ahead and pick this up because the uh, specs on this said that it was four and a quarter inches closed. Now, your typical uh, Camp King or Scout Knife is only three and three quarter inches or three and five eighths of an inches. So you can see right there the dis difference in size between the two knives. I mean, this is a full half inch longer when it is closed, which means you're gonna have a much bigger main blade on here. And I guess that was the purpose of it. And I guess that's why Dave Canterbury designed this knife. And I will tell you now, I have no idea who Dave Canterbury is, uh, but he designed this knife. So maybe he's a famous outdoors person, but you can see right there the difference in blade size. Still just a spear point blade and everything, but it is a much larger blade on there. And um, I think that's pretty cool. You notice it has the same half stops that you're seeing on all the Rough Riders these days. Marbles is doing the same thing. You got to understand that SMKW, even though they do not own the Marbles trademark for their knives that are coming out of uh, China, SMKW is basically making them for them. So they are a uh, they're they're going to be of a similar quality. Uh, and style as you find in the Rough Rider lineup. Um, now, um, you can see why I picked it up. Um, the Scout King Shield and the fact that it was a large um, Scout knife, bigger than your typical one. Um, and in some ways, that's a pretty good thing. In some ways, that's a pretty bad thing. Now, if what they had done is said, I'm going to build a camp knife on a four and a quarter inch frame and then um, decide how we're going to arrange the blades in there and everything, that would have been an interesting concept. But what they did with this knife is they said, let's just take the Camp King and increase its size by a certain percentage, so whatever, like, we'll, we'll increase the size of it by 20%, and so it'll be four and a quarter inches long, it's gonna have a bigger main blade and everything else. And that's basically what they did. They just embiggened everything on the knife. So you have a, a longer um, clevis down here at the end, and you notice it's a flattened wire now, which is kind of good, I don't have a problem with that but it's a longer one going on. You've got a heftier frame going on. Uh, surprisingly, uh, not much thicker than the Camp King, which is good. Uh, that's a positive. So it didn't get a lot wider because the thickness of the blades is the same. Uh, but otherwise, they're larger blades. Everything is just embiggened. So when you 
take a look at the uh, cap lifter screwdriver compared to the cap lifter on the Camp King. You see it has a much bigger blade, which is not necessarily a problem. You see the, the um, screwdriver tip comes out to be about the same, so that's good. Uh, but it is definitely longer, which is a little bit better. You've got a little bit more reach. And uh, I'm assuming that you got a bit more of a grab in here for the can or for a cap. I'm hoping you do because we all know there was a little bit of an issue with the uh, cap lifter on the uh, Camp King. So hopefully that helps out a bit. We already saw the main blade. The main blade is definitely um, more substantial. It's got more belly on it. It's got uh, more reach on it. It's also got a nice little bit of a swedge going on it, which you don't have with the, uh, the Camp King. So all that is good. Um, you have a larger um, punch blade, and the punch has a sewing eye at it. I guess that's a good thing for some people. Um, it doesn't matter one way or the other to me, but uh, I can see how that could be helpful if you're working with things. The punch is not much longer, uh, really not much longer at all, but a little bit longer, and it is definitely a little wider, so you can get that sewing eye in there, which is kind of a good thing. Um, but the one tool, I really got to clean this up a bit, I think. The one tool that is a problem here is the can opener. And I'll tell you now, I, I, this is the second, uh, Scout King that I got. The first one I bought, uh, had the same issue with the can opener that I'll be showing, but it also had a shield that was not very well centered. If you can see here, this one is also not properly centered, but it's, not as bad as the original shield on the other one was. So uh, also, I, I got to keep reminding myself, it is a $20 knife, a $20 knife. But at one time, the Camillus knives were also a relatively inexpensive knife, and they could get the shield straight. So in any case, uh, we'll move on from the shield and get to the can opener, which to me is, um, is an issue with this knife. Um, they made a really big can opener, and if you notice, and this is after cleaning it, it it has absolutely no action in this can opener at all. You get a little bit of action right about there before it actually does a little bit of snapping. Yeah, you saw that. I pushed it all the way up to the half stop. There is a half stop there. You can feel it when you get to it. And then when I'm pushing it down... It'll snap eventually yeah all the way down before it'll snap so there's no action with this can opener whatsoever you have to rock it around all the way but the real problem is is just how big the can opener is and it really doesn't need to be that big I think the can opener on the uh, uh, on the Camp King would have been more than adequate for this if they would have used the smaller can opener it would have been fine uh, and if they would have done that, you might have been able to put in a larger uh, uh, screwdriver. I don't know for sure, but you might have been able to. In any case, that is an issue. Uh, you might say, well, it's not that big of a deal. What, what difference does it make if you got a big can opener or a little can opener? The big can opener, you might be able to open a can up a little faster. Um, I really don't think so. You heard the snap on that. And that is needing it to be cleaned. You heard the snap on there. But you notice also how high that bump goes up. Look at it uh, compared to the back blade even. Notice how much more it goes up. And that is where the problem comes in. Because when you're holding it, you feel that can opener right away. Um, and um, it's not a good feeling. It's, it's not awful, but you can feel it. And it doesn't need to be there. That's the thing. It really just doesn't need to be there. And you can feel it with either hand. Matter of fact, in this case, it's more problematic for me in the right hand than the left hand. Um, and that's that's really the issue. Uh, if they were to put in the smaller can opener, just left it with the regular can opener, I think the knife would have been a better knife. Um, 
who am I to argue with whoever Dave Canterbury is? But uh, to me, uh, there's more to making a larger camp knife than just making everything bigger on the camp knife. And I think they really need to investigate uh, the tools a little bit better. Um, I get adding the, uh, I mean, really the only tool that they actually looked at and said, maybe we could do something a little bit more with the punch and steal the uh, sewing eye off of the uh, Swiss Army knives, which is basically what they did with the punch. Uh, not as sharp as the one on the uh, Camp King. But anyway, uh, everything else, all they did was just make everything larger. And uh, making everything larger does not always work. Um, and that's, that is probably the only thing that, uh, that, that is probably my biggest complaint about this is that they made a larger can opener and that larger can opener really um, uh, actually um, makes it a little harder to use the main blade and it really doesn't add any true functionality to the knife. Um, and the other thing that I wonder about is um, if this is really for the modern camper, um, how many modern campers still need the cap lifter and the can opener to begin with? Um, how, how useful are those blades these days? Um, and would it have been a good idea to perhaps um, swap out this tool for like a wood saw? Put a wood saw there and maybe turn this uh, blade into one of those um, funky uh, can opener cap lifter blades like this or just your basic uh, Victorinox uh, combo tool instead of the, uh, the uh, oversized can opener because then you would have uh, both tools on one blade, your, your cap lifter and can opener and then you could have had a wood saw in there and then the knife would have been a lot more functional than your basic uh, four blade camp tool. Um, so really this comes down to being more or less, uh, if you're an embiggened guy, you know, like if you're one of those seven foot tall guys with a hand the size of a bear, maybe this knife is going to be more useful for you than your typical um, camp king. But for most people, I got a feeling the Camp King is a better choice. It's going to be lighter in the pocket and uh, fit the hand just fine. So, um, And if you really wanted to get a bigger knife, um, I mean, this is the uh, Victorinox uh, Hunter in 111 millimeters. So this is four and three eighths of an inch. Uh, as opposed to four and a quarter inches, so about the same size, just a little bit longer. Uh, but it is much lighter, um, a little bit slimmer. I don't know, about the same thickness. But on that, you have a locking main blade that has more length to it for cutting. It has a saw blade. It has a gutting tool. I'm sorry, this is the combo tool. It has a gutting blade or a, a secondary uh, hawkbill, serrated hawkbill blade. And it's got a corkscrew, which you may or may not care about. But it also still has the punch on the back with the sewing eye. So, you know, a more functional knife with more tools uh, taking up about the same amount of space. So, um, is it a good idea? I guess it is, um, but still, um, they need to think a little bit more about it when they're doing these things because just making it bigger uh, is not enough. Uh, you really have to think about what needs to be larger, what needs to remain about the same size, is there some other kind of functionality that you can add into a camp knife. Um, these are all just my thoughts. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm glad I have it, but um, 
really all it is is uh, an oversized uh, camp knife. If that's what you're looking for, then the Scout King is right up your alley. But if you're looking for something a little bit more, um, then um, you might want to look elsewhere. I don't know. In any case, uh, I will let you go and um, I'll stick around for some slides, I guess. Well, you may have noticed in the um, in the slideshow that I snuck in the Remington Bullet Jumbo Scout knife, and uh, well, that is really a big knife, as you can see here, compared to the uh, Camp King, it really just dwarfs it. And this is kind of like right in the middle between the two because this is uh, just over four and three quarter inches long. So that is the biggest of the uh, scout knives that I have out there. Uh, but you can also see that it is much slimmer and that's because of the blade choices and the blade arrangements on there. Now this one does not have a, uh, a uh, can opener at all. They instead put on a little sheet foot blade but you still have the uh, cap lifter and uh, screwdriver on this end and then the, the punch is enormous probably larger than it needs to be and then you have um, a saber ground uh, clip blade for the main blade but you can see uh, that they actually were thinking a little bit about this as opposed to just saying let's just make a bigger camp knife and that's what i was talking about when uh when i was talking about just making it bigger doesn't necessarily mean making it better um is this the blade options I would have gone with? Probably not. I would have much rather seen a wood saw in there because you can use a saw when you're camping quite often. And that's why I often will grab something like this or my Outrider that has a wood saw on it when I'm out in the woods because the wood saw makes a lot of sense. And that's where this knife is lacking and also kind of where this knife is lacking too. But I just wanted to show that as a, a comparison of what to do or or how to think when you're just trying to make a larger camp knife. Making it bigger doesn't necessarily make it better. You really have to think of a little bit beyond that. Because if the only problem with this is that it is too small, you still have to think of if I make it larger, how can I make it feel ergonomically right in the hand and that's where this knife fails in my opinion because of that large can opener any case i am done picking on the scout king it is still kind of an interesting knife and if you're a person who collects scout knives like i do then it is definitely one of those knives that you want to have in your collection um, as for actual everyday carry 
and that is a decision that you'll need to make on your own. Ye doggy, I told you it was going to be a fun one. Sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment and give it that big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and go out there and tell your friends there's another episode just around the corner. Thanks a lot for visiting. Really appreciate you being here. Talk to you again soon.